Hey, part two video response to uh, just a thought. Uh, you see, no one that's making these videos to wake the American people up so they won't starve or they won't be raped, pillaged, killed by a thug has nothing to do with, uh, pardon my language, uh, has nothing to do with uh, this certain person that said uh, people are trying to be badasses. No, see, you, you you try to label people as being that, boy, because you don't understand and you have no knowledge of what it means to be a true man, of not bowing down and cowering to stuff, but yet at the same time, will shed a tear because of a nation that's gone to hell in a handbasket. Has no idea what it means to to stand up for what is right, but to just accept anything as being relative, you see. And uh, no going out there in the desert, as you say, and practicing with a firearm prepares for blood and slaughter. And I'll say it again, nobody wants blood and slaughter. Nobody wants anarchy in America and bloodshed. We don't want it. But the difference in me and you, boy, is this. I'm willing to stand up and fight for the Constitution. I'm willing to stand up and fight for the Declaration of Independence. I'm willing to stand up and fight for biblical beliefs. If it comes to it. And you're not. As I made in video earlier, you're just a part of the New World Order. You, you don't know what it means to stand up for what's right. But you know what it means to fall for everything, boy. You see? And here's the thing. The thing of it is, is you'll wind up you'll wind up becoming another statistic in the American lie, not in the American dream. As you'll wind up one day and you'll wake up and you'll realize that you are on the road of failure and that you're actually a product of feminism in America and not manhood. See, if you had the intelligence enough to come out and to be straight up like I am, then you would understand that the path that you're on is feminism and not manhood. And you would understand that you might want to go back and take a look at yourself and your thoughts and your speeches that you've ranted on through ignorance, and you just might want to think about reading the Constitution. And you might want to ask yourself, after you read that Constitution, do I believe it or am I like Bush? It's just a GD piece of paper. Because I really would love to know. I really would love to know that it, it uh, boy, do you believe in the Constitution. Because it would just make my friggin' day for you to come out and you be plain about what you believe and what is in that little pea brain feminist mind of yours is what I'd like to know. So I challenge you to read the Constitution. And I challenge you to read the Bible. And I challenge you to come back with a video response that has intellect on it. And let's see where you stand. Little feller, I'd like to know. If you send your address, I promise I'll send that pacifier to you. Because you're, you must have lost yours under the couch or something, playing a video game or watching some freaking movie that don't matter to nothing. But in any event, I'd be glad to buy you one and send it to you. But 
I've spent enough time on your ignorance that I must move on and I must continue to warn the American people that we are for tree, peace and tranquility. We're not for anarchy and chaos and destruction. But that when that stuff does begin, that we're man enough to stand up and to come against that anarchy and destruction. Do you see what I'm saying? You see, God's, uh, God is uh, bigger than you, and he's bigger than this government. He's bigger than the evil that you're part of and that we're fighting against, you see. And, but at the same time, there's a God that created people and put them on this earth to be men. Men. Not cowards, not sissies, not punks, but men. So I challenge you to lay aside your childish ways, and I challenge you to become a man, and I challenge you to read the Constitution, and I challenge you to take a crack at the Bible, and I challenge you to wake up and at least try to get out of diapers and get in training pants. And ho hopefully there's enough time for you to do that. Don't know. We'll just have to see. But my bet is that you will remain a spineless, feminist, wannabe that won't become a man. But I hope I'm wrong in that. See, in time watchman. Telling it like it is. I'll be back.